distributed power management is a cluster service. It's part of vSphere. It runs as part of the distributed resource scheduler. So you set up a cluster and you enable the distributed resource scheduler and then DPM can be enabled on top of that. And what it does is it uses uh, the DRS knowledge about cluster constraints and people's cluster targets for performance. And it respects those constraints and targets and it powers down hosts as long as those won't be violated. So it's an opportunistic thing that saves power without uh, affecting your workloads. That's the intent. There's a lot of sophisticated te technologies on the ESX host to, to manage power. Uh, but even when those technologies can work, there's still a substantial amount of power being burned just when the server is turned on. In, in our marketplace, it's typically 60% of peak power just to have the server turned on and, and idle. So uh, DPM taps into the fact that there may be a lot of variation in your workloads, and those servers can be powered down when they're not needed. But when the servers are needed, but just not needed at full utilization, then those host-level power management techniques can be used to save further power. So they're kind of synergistic, uh, they're both important, and and uh, so we think it's a good story that gives a lot of different options for saving power. DPM and HA and DRS work as a group of cluster services and they work together. Uh, what we do is HA um, communicates to DRS and DPM how the user would like to handle spare resources for failover. This was a very important uh, aspect of getting DPM right and making it usable for customers that want to use HA, which a lot of customers want to use the combination of the three, we believe. So in VMware Infrastructure 3, we introduced uh, an experimental version of DPM. We had one wake method, which was wake on LAN. Um, it works through uh, wake on LAN packets going through the vMotion network. And we wanted to get experience and uh, uh, first-hand knowledge of how customers might use DPM, and that gave us a chance to do so. And surprisingly, people, even though it was experimental, we had lots of good feedback from people. For 4.0, we've used that feedback to, uh, to make the algorithms more responsive, and we've also used it to introduce additional wake techniques. Um, we have two new additional wake techniques in VC 4.0. Uh, we have um, IPMI wake, and we have ILO wake. So in vSphere 4, we um, provide ways of setting up DPM depending on how aggressively you'd like it to power down and how aggressively you'd like it to power up. Also, some customers have been interested in having DPM power on hosts before the load rises. Like, let's say they know that there's going to be a heavy load at 9 a.m., and they'd really rather have the host go ahead and power on at 8, uh, just so that they're covered. You know, they don't have that little lag while the hosts are coming up. DPM is extremely important in today's environment. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was a report to Congress uh, done by the EPA on how much power server, uh, server rooms are consuming in the U.S. And they're consuming a measurable percentage of power consumed in the U.S. And unfortunately, it's growing at a measurable amount. I think this DPM technology will help people address um, that growth in you know, power consumption. Working with the DPM team has been great. I mean, this is a, co a complicated thing in terms of this, the management software needs to understand the, the power events. Uh, it, it touched every part of the stack from the ESX server all the way up through the interactions with VC and everything uh, needed to talk to each other and everything needed to be smooth and it was very, I got to meet a lot of people <laughs> working on this. It was, it involved a lot of people and it, it involved a lot of people doing, uh, working hard and doing a good job. So it was fun.